I wrote a, a poem series called uh, uh, Point Tillism. So it's a double entendre if everyone knows that Tillism, of course, pointillism is the, the style of uh, painting uh, associated with Odelon Redon, and Tillism is actually magic in Urdu, so henceforth, pointillism. So it's a six poem series. I'm going to read uh, the last four poems. Cowboys and cowboys. Now that there are cowboys and cowboys. Now that there is a red line that breaks and breaks you, trumped up to twist into a noose. The same line that I went humming arm in arm, what I called Ganga Jamni, what you called a Venn diagram. Those lines are lost, the night is long, my mind skipping like a cheap cassette, trying to rewind history with the turn of a pencil. These are the years of static and stasis. Kis kis ko batayin judai ham. To get to the analog of inhilo goni, to jog that, jot that, thread that fugitive dot, noisy, nosy point of contention. To green absence, you need the pointillism of raindrops. There are wilds to reap, hairs of bigots splitting your side as they tried to untangle the bindi from Hindi, extracting the sand wound that birthed the pearl they stand on, lodged like a cumin seed in the sea crevice of a camel's mouth. Water has logged every mile of my grave, and you named each painstakingly painted rose? Yes, I did. Shamimara, Jahara, Shabnam, Nargis, Noshaba, Anjuman, Shagufta, Shehrazad, and so on and so on until the thousand nights were done and there was the one left to write only, the very longest one. The Department of Wronged Rights. You have made a wrong turn, you have made a wrong right turn because left is right and we just wanted to drive that point home. Your life is wood, get the drift. This is now a checkpoint. Please to sit. While you wait, we will check you in a box. In triplicate. BBG, are you by any chance that other Kara's sister? You mean the one that still lives on the tip of her tongue, tied in brackets of silence stuffed in her straight-faced helplessness? Mutation would require you to visit another office. We only mince words here. On stamp paper, it doesn't matter if you can sign your name. Thumbprints are necessary. Only the right thumb is right. Would you look at the price of pomegranates? Tell me, how can a simple officer possibly raise one's family in this mehengai? Please have some biscuit with the chai. Where were we? Yes, I was going to tell you about the su Siagush, the Supari Jin. It is he who cracks your nuts into a heart, he who folds your teeth into paper-thin walls of limestone, your legs into eighths of red ochre, he who breaks your spine into a moist green triangle spiked with nails of clove, he who offers the bite of bruised bright cardamom shot through with the tracery of electric moonlight jam down your throat. Benevolent or evil, it depends on which way the wind blows. You must not only believe he exists, but solemnly attest before we can continue. Before you pass out of any port, you must solemnly attest. Before you pass out, we can continue. Notes from a holding pattern. When the paper-thin roses that began as a lullaby had climbed all the walls of her garden of the thousand and one nights, but first there was a gold-green blur, 
and blood-red roses crowning the heads of walking thorns with the strength of ten oxen. Or so it seemed. Lahore was a mirage. If you got too close, it disappeared. Like all of her loves, she keeps Lahore entombed in her drawer, an entire city of rooftops and gray doves walled up in a four by six postcard. The mythical walled city itself, a walled in Anarkali, hard pressed in the pages of a basant beyond all remnants of return. Tap roots. The eyes of Leila are almonds. Morning is a white sheet where no one takes off their, their shoes. Gather them into piles. Perilous pyramids to recite the names of loss. Under your breath, circumambulating the graveyards of possibility. The eyes of Leila come into, their, into this world wearing their coffins. The eyes of almonds are blind. The eyes of Leila are blind. The eyes of night cry themselves blind and leave a wet shroud on the earth each morning. Don't cry for Leila, for it is you that has stabbed her again and again. The eyes of Leila are a lila of blind almonds. You are condemned to be lost in the braille of their labyrinth, in the labyrinth of their braille. Bhul there is no luck now. <laughs>